massive cup title preview, but firstly, yesterday you got your new signing, Anthony Gordon, um, here through the door. What will he give you? Well, I think he'll give us a lot. I think he's uh, a young player with huge attributes, huge potential to have a, a big impact on our season. Um, very quick, dynamic player, uh, versatile, can play off both sides. I think his, the best is yet to come from him. I think, uh, but he can add something different for us. I'm delighted to get him. You obviously do your research into the type of characters that you sign as well. Uh, what sort of personality are you getting in Anthony Gordon? I think we're getting someone that's fiercely determined, ambitious. I think he's got a nice balance between confidence and knowing that there's areas to improve in his game. Um, but yeah, I've got no doubts about his character. We, we've done a lot of research um, with every signing. Now, there's always a risk with every signing because you, you never quite know until you work with a player how the dynamic will be. Um, but we've tracked him for a long, long time, very since the, the early days at Everton and his loan spell that he had. So um, I think we know the player. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased he's now part of our team. Transfer window closes tomorrow night, not long after the final whistle in the cup tie. What is the situation currently with John Joe Shelby? John Joe, I believe, is talking to, to Nottingham Forest. I don't know where, at what stage that that, that is at currently. Um, yeah, uh, John Joe's been a huge player for this football club over the last seven years. I think he's um, been a very important part of my squad since I've been here. Unfortunately, he's had injuries this season. Um, certainly, I would not want to, to lose him, but I have to understand, again, similar to Chris Wood's situation, really, that the player's wishes um, with his contract coming to an end this summer. Would he be allowed to go if you couldn't <coughs> bring in a replacement and an extra midfielder? I think it would be very difficult to to keep John Joe um, currently with where he wants his career to go. Um, you can keep players that want to leave. Uh, it's not to say that every player that wants to leave you can let go, but I think you have to take every situation um, independently really and, and try and judge everything and try and judge what's best for him and the club. And this is a, a very difficult situation because from a footballing perspective, I definitely want to keep John Joe. You know, I rate him very highly. Um, but then there's his situation to think about and that's where we've we've come to. But you wouldn't want to leave a hole or a space in your squad in midfield, an area where you are probably lighter than other parts of the, the pitch? No, definitely not. That's why I say from a football decision, absolutely not. And we'll see what we can do in the market to try and uh, bring a player in. There's no guarantee on that, as I've said, with, with other transfers. Uh, we will try and we'll, we'll see what we we can do. But I think um, in terms of permanent signings, that would be very difficult. But we'll look for a potentially a loan situation. But it's got to be, again, it's got to be the right player. We don't want to just take any player for, for the sake of it. A couple on the match from me. Uh, Southampton played at the weekend. You didn't have a game and as much as you would have wanted to be involved in the fourth round of the FA Cup. How can having the weekend off help you? Um, I don't know. I, I'm always torn on these things. So... Um, the rhythm that you get from playing a game is, is, is sometimes more beneficial than resting. So I don't think there's any advantage there. I think we've trained well. I think the players are, are in a good place. So.